Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and today's video is going to be another collab with my dear, beautiful, amazing, magical friends, Shawnee and Jan. And of course, I'll have links to their channels in my description box. And if you guys have not yet gone to their channels, you're really missing out because they are amazing creators and very, very dear, beautiful friends in my life. And we've done several collabs together, and it's always just an absolute treat to collab with these ladies, and I hope we continue to do several more collabs together. Now, typically how these collabs work is that I will come up with a bunch of questions for us to answer, and then you can either do a makeup look while you're answering the questions, or you don't have to do that. It just kind of depends on what the collab is about, I guess. Now, this collab is about makeup origins, like how we got our start in makeup, and then like kind of some questions about how we have felt about makeup throughout our years of using makeup to now. I just thought that would be really fun to talk about that part of our lives, like our, our makeup love. I mean, we have makeup channels, so it makes sense. And I also thought it would be really fun to pull out like an older palette out of our collection, like maybe even our oldest palette out of our collection, like the palette that really maybe got us into makeup if we still have those in our collections. And I do still have my palette that I fell in love with makeup about uh, in my collection, if that made any sense. And this is the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street palette. And this palette my daughter got me uh, probably about five years ago, I would say. And I just lost my mind over makeup. This is the palette that did that for me. And I've panned several of the shades in here. <laughs> and I haven't used this in a while, but I, I did well. I used it I don't know, maybe a few months ago, I think, and it worked just fine. And it doesn't smell weird and none of the shades look funky to me. And I'm always so happy and very nostalgic to use this palette. So yeah, and I, I think what I'm gonna do is just do something I would normally do with this palette because I kind of got into doing like the same thing with this palette. And I don't know, I just kind of felt like if we're gonna be talking about how we got our start in makeup, then that would make the most sense. Now, of course, both my eyelids are primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base and Rumor 01, and both of my brows are done. And I've come up with 12 questions for us to answer. So I'm just gonna start getting into the makeup look here and then answering the questions. I do need to find a brush. And I think what I'm gonna do is start off with this shade right here and put that in my transition area, maybe in my outer V, just a little bit too, we'll see. Uh, the first question is, how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? And I think I was in the sixth grade, so I was 11. That was when my mom like really started letting me wear makeup. I couldn't wear a lot of makeup. Uh, I could wear mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow. Uh, I think maybe a little bit of eyeliner too, a little bit of blush, and then lip gloss or lipstick. But she wasn't real wild about me wearing like super bright or bold lipstick. So it was usually pretty like neutrally in tone, neutral in tone. And I remember thinking I was so cool when I first started wearing makeup because I had older friends and older cousins and, you know, they had started wearing makeup quite a while before I was able to. And so I just felt like I had like graduated to that cool spot in my life where I can wear makeup now. <laughs> yes, I can. And I honestly really didn't even know what I was doing with makeup when I first started wearing it. <laughs> you know, I just kind of tried to figure it out on my own. I think I did ask an older cousin to, to help me put my makeup on or how do I put my makeup on, that sort of thing. Uh, and I also can remember like in seventh and eighth grade, the uh, really bright purple wet and wild lipstick became all the rage. And I would wear that and my mother would just, I mean, she let me wear it, but she wasn't happy about it. And she wasn't quiet about the fact that she wasn't happy about me wearing it. Number two, what products did you wear? I guess I already answered that. <laughs> Oops. I come up with my own questions and I answer them out of order. Jeez. Uh, like I said, mascara, which usually was uh, Maybelline, I think. I'm pretty sure it was Maybelline that I would wear the mascara. And then in terms of eyeshadows, uh, what did I wear for eyeshadows? I, I was usually just this like tube of this creamy electric blue eyeshadow but I would wear it as eyeliner on my upper and lower lids. I mean, my eyes were like ringed in this bright blue. <gasps> it sounds like it looked horrible, but it actually looked pretty cool. And I, I didn't put a ton on, just enough, you know. And I have no idea what brand that was. And I also have no idea where that even is, if you can even still get that anymore. I mean, you could probably get something similar to it, but that exact product, I have no idea, no idea about what that was or where it came from. 
uh, my blush that I would wear, I, I remember wearing like this pot cream blush that was my mom's that she didn't like and it smelled really good. It kind of had like this floral smell to it. I love that. And it was kind of like bright pink and I have no idea what the brand was. And then of course the Wet n Wild lipstick. Oh yeah. I love that. I do want to take that edge off. So I think what I'll do is go into the shade right here. This is kind of like a light peachy shade and just put that around that shade. Question number three, what was the first makeup brand you ever tried? And I would say it would have to have been something uh, drug story. Uh, Maybelline. Uh, I don't know, Max Factor. I remember my mom having Max Factor makeup that I would use and didn't that become something else? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, let's see, what else did I use? Wet n Wild. Uh, Bonnie Bell was another like lip gloss or lip balm brand that I loved. Uh, those lip smackers, those were amazing. I used to eat those sometimes. Idiot. Uh, do you guys remember too? They had those like flat, like disc lip balm things that you'd slide the lid open and just put your finger in and put your lip balm on. I used to love balm on, balm on. I used to love those too. And I just saw those not very long ago, I think on Amazon. And I need to get myself some of those because those are really handy to have. And I, I love them. Just love those. And they smelled really good. And you know, they're fun to have. Really fun. Uh, let's see, what else did I use makeup brand wise? That blue eyeshadow thing. I, I wish I could remember what brand that was. I just don't remember. I don't know why, but I don't remember. Uh, there was nothing on it. it. Whatever had been written on it or the sticker that was on it was gone. So that's I think that's why I can't remember what it was. But I used that all the way through like sixth, seventh and eighth grade. It lasted me for a really long time because I would just use a little bit of it, you know? My mom was not a real fan of me going too wild and crazy with that. Number four, have you ever taken a break from makeup or have you always worn it since you first started applying it? I've taken breaks from makeup, absolutely. You know, here's the thing. I It's not like I wore makeup every single day. It was just, I don't know, every so often. Well, I mean, more than every so often, but it wasn't every single day. And there were times like I remember in high school that I did not wear makeup at all. Uh, I remember starting to wear it again when I was on dance team and I would wear it during our performances and stuff. And then like just at school and on the weekends, and unless I went like on a date or out with my friends or something, then I would put makeup on, but not very much. And when I was in high school, that was in the nineties and the like dark brown lipsticks were really popular. And oh, I love that. And it was usually just like some black liquid liner, mascara, and like, you know, brown lipstick. That was what I would normally do. I'm going to go back in with this brush just a little bit. And uh, I also remember in college being very minimalist with my makeup too. Just eyeliner, a little bit of the Shimmering Sands trio from CoverGirl, uh, mascara, and then blush and lipstick. Uh, I used to also wear foundation on occasion, and I've mentioned this before. My skincare was so horrible that anytime I would wear foundation typically, because a lot of times I'd go to bed with it still on my face, I would get these just horrendous breakouts. So, and I remember my mom trying to find every single kind of foundation for me to try just to see if, you know, I could get those breakouts to stop. But your breakouts aren't going to stop if you don't take care of your skin. So yeah, that, that was yeah, a real big eye opener for me. So foundation wasn't something I would wear a lot. Concealer, no, I mean, I don't think so. Uh, not the way I wear it now, that's for sure. I mean, there was times I would use cover-up, that cover girl cover-up. It was like foundation, but kind of like, I don't know, maybe a little, well, it's not thicker than foundation. I don't know, but I would just use that to cover up my zits sometimes. And then I look really funny because you could tell I had cover-up over my zits. And then when my kids were little, uh, you know, I would wear makeup every so often, every once in a while, the cover girl shimmering sands, that was really my go-to all the time. And maybe, you know, some other eyeshadows from like Revlon and stuff. But really, I didn't really get into makeup until like 2018, 2019. And since then, I, have I taken a, well, I mean, I don't wear, usually I don't wear makeup on the weekends. But I, I can't say like I've gone for an extended period of time taking a break from makeup since I got really into it few years ago. I, I don't think I've done that. Okay. I really like how that looks. And so now I want to deepen up the outer V and I'm going to go into this beautiful brown mat right here that I have hit pan on and put that in my outer V. Number five, what do you think has changed the most about makeup since you first started wearing it? A lot of stuff. 
there's just more makeup to choose from, I feel like, you know, and you got to remember too, because I didn't have a ton of experience with makeup when I was younger and wasn't super into it. There's a lot about uh, old school makeup that I really don't know much about. So that could be wrong. I mean, maybe there was all this makeup and I just wasn't aware of it, you know, because I wasn't really into it. Uh, but I do feel like there's a lot more brands available now than there used to be. Uh, I also will say that I think the quality of drugstore eyeshadows has plummeted over the past few years. I mean, there's still some good ones you can find in the drugstore and some drugstore brands that I think are really good, like Milani and Elf and stuff and NYX. But like the true drugstore, like staple brands like Maybelline, Revlon, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what else, uh, CoverGirl, I don't know, those types of brands. I just kind of feel like they're not the quality of the eyeshadows is not that great. I think their other products are fine. You know, I primarily the rest of my makeup products that I have in my collection, uh, you know, mascara, eyeliner, this, that, and the other, that's most of it's drugstore. And I love it. I think it works great. Wonderful. But their eyeshadow has gone over the past few years for sure. Number six, what is the makeup product you miss most from back in the day? The blue creamy eyeshadow tube thing. God, I miss that. I love that. I mean, would I use that now? I probably would, though. I probably would. Uh, I mean, I have other stuff I could mimic it with, I guess, but I miss that, and I wish I knew what it was. It drives me nuts. Oops, this is creasy. Yes, it is. Always gets creasy right there. Um, let's see, what else do I miss from back in the day? I don't miss that bright purple Wet n Wild lipstick, that's for sure. I look back at my old pictures. I should have gotten some from my dad's house and popped them into this video. If, if I have time to do that, I will do that. I have, I think I do have some pictures of that bright purple lipstick. Horrifying. Just looked awful on me. I mean, it's a beautiful, fun color. It's really fun. It's like this electric light purple, but on me, mm, not the cutest, I will tell you. Um, let's see. What else do I miss from back in the day? Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess that's about it. I do miss, ha like I said, having those flip open or slide open little lip balm packets, tins, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to have to get some more of those because I did see them. So I, I don't really need to miss those because I can get some. But yeah, I can't think of anything else that I really miss from back in the day. I don't know. And maybe help me answer that in the comment section, you guys, because I just can't think of anything right now that I really miss. And I have a pretty horrible edge on that shade right there. So I'm going to go back in with this just a little bit and tone that down. Uh, let's see. Number seven, what is a makeup technique that you do completely differently than you used to? Well, I never used to do my brows. I never even used to pluck my brows. And I look back on pictures uh, about that, too. And I'm like, I had so much brow. It was unreal. I did finally start plucking this part because I kind of had a unibrow for a little while. But my mom would not let me pluck my eyebrows because she said, I'm, I'm concerned that you're going to end up plucking them to the point where they're not going to grow back. And that's what she had done because back in the 60s and 70s, you know, that was the cool thing to do, like have those pencil thin brows. And so she did a number on her brows and she didn't want me to do the same thing. So uh, yeah, I did not do my brows, so I do, and I do my brows now. I pluck my brows and I put product in my brows and that kind of stuff. I mean, they're not—it's not that exciting. I don't ever really film that process because it's not worth seeing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, my eyeshadow I do completely differently. I didn't use brushes. I used the sponge tip applicator, so that's a huge change. Uh, foundation I didn't really use back in the day, and now that I am much better with my skincare, I do use foundation. I use a sponge to put on my foundation, which I would just put my hand, use my fingers, you know, to put it on. I never used a sponge when I was younger, uh, which seems so strange to me now because I can't imagine putting my foundation on with my fingers now. Isn't that weird? I don't know. I should try it, but I just haven't done that in a really long time. Uh, the way I apply my concealer, because I didn't really use concealer, I don't think, back in the day, that's different. Um, highlighter. I didn't use highlighter. I don't know if, know if they had highlighter back in the day. I'm going to go back around with this too. Just nothing additional on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a few things I do differently. Uh, what else? I mean, my mascara, my eyeliner, my blush, that's all pretty much the same. I didn't use bronze or anything like that either when I was growing up or, you know, first got into makeup. I didn't use bronzer. Uh, so that's different. 
I, I guess what I would say is I put on more makeup products on my face than I used to when I first started. Uh, number eight, what is a makeup technique that you've always done exactly the same? Uh, I guess my mascara. Uh, well, my eyeliner, I guess, is a little different because I used to use like the truly liquid eyeliner with the brush. I don't use that anymore because I end up with it all over the place because like my hands are so damn shaky. I can't really apply that as well as I used to be able to. Uh, my blush, I apply basically the same way. Um... Lipstick, did I say that? Lipstick, I would say. I mean, I don't do anything differently when I apply my lipstick than I used to. Okay, I like, like how that looks. I think it's blended nicely. So now for the shimmers. <laughs> and I think what I'll do today is use, I love this shimmer right here. It's kind of a rusty, corally shade. Uh, I think I'll use that. I love that one too. But this is probably my favorite shimmer. So I think I'll use this and this today, these two. Yeah. Number nine, what is a brand from back in the day that you wish was still around? I, that's hard for me to answer because I think all the brands I used to like back in the day are still around. Like Wet n Wild still around, Maybelline, Revlon, Max Factor now is not Max Factor anymore. What what happened to Max Factor? Did, didn't somebody absorb that? I can't remember. Um, let's see. Is there a makeup brand from back in the day that is not around anymore that I used to use? I can't think of one. I don't know. That's... Oh, I can't think of anything. Um, I mean, I'm sure there is. There has to be. But I just don't remember that. Because, like I said, I feel like they're all still around. I don't know. Um, I'm sitting here trying to rack my brain to give you guys an answer. And I don't think I can give you the answer to this. Because I think I just didn't wear enough makeup back then. Or didn't have as much experience with brands as I do now. So I just can't think of one. Number 10, do you think makeup products have improved, gotten worse, or stayed the same? Well, I think it just kind of depends on what you're talking about. I think that uh, eyeshadow palettes have gotten amazingly awesome. <laughs> That's what I have for a bajillion of them. Uh, and especially indie brands, love indie brand eyeshadow palettes. I'm a huge indie brand eyeshadow palette freak, as you guys are well aware. Um, so yeah, I think that eyeshadow has gotten better I do think that drugstore eyeshadow has gotten worse, like I mentioned. I think the prices of drugstore makeup have gotten worse, but, you know, prices of everything are, you know, skyrocketing at this point. So, uh, let's see. In terms of other makeup products, I think some things have gotten better. I think some things have gotten worse. I think some things have stayed the same. Uh, I do think drugstore lipsticks are where it's at, man. And I feel like they've gotten better over the years because I can remember not really liking lipstick when I was younger because I didn't like how it felt on my lips or like how it looked on me. And I don't really feel that way much anymore. Um, I do think eyeliners have gotten a lot better. I really like the fact that there's the felt tip liners now. I'm kind of obsessed with felt tip liners because they're just the easiest for me to use. Uh, you know, the color ranges of things has gotten much better, you know, like blush. I mean, when I was younger, you could get like coral or pink blush and that was it. Now you can get all kinds of fun, funky colors for blush. It's so cool. I'm going to clean off this brush and go into this shimmer right here and put that towards the front. So, you know, just, I, I think it just depends on what you're talking about or what you're asking about in terms of a makeup product, whether it's gotten worse, better, or stayed the same. Number 11, discuss a good memory you have about makeup from your youth. Well, I have several. Oops, I just bonked myself right my eye with that. Idiot. Let me clean that up a little bit. I just went gank with my brush. I almost did it again. Uh, I have several good memories from my youth about makeup. Um, one of the things that I love to think about and love to remember is when I was like, I don't know, probably first, second, third grade. Well, maybe more second and third grade. I would get up in the mornings on Saturday and that was my mom's day to just lounge in bed for the majority of the day because she was a school teacher and by Saturdays she was done, D-O-N-E done. And so she would just kind of lounge in bed and she'd let me play in her makeup bag. And I could use whatever I wanted to, unless it was, well, I don't, I don't think she ever told me I couldn't use something. The rules were I had to not break anything and I had to always put it back when I was finished. 
and I would just have a blast putting her makeup on in the mornings. And then typically what I would do is I would go put on some kind of fancy outfit that I had in my closet or maybe sometimes one of my mom's clothing items. And then I'd do like a fashion show for her. I'd walk into her room and she'd be like reading the newspaper or something. And she'd be like, oh, who is this little girl? Who is this girl? Well, let's look at her. What is she wearing? What's on her face? Ooh, her makeup is so amazing. I'm going to have to ask this little girl how she did her makeup because I got to look just like her. You know, stuff like that. So cute. I love that. Love that so much. So that was one of my favorite memories. And then there was a little girl whose grandma lived across the street. And she and I basically grew up together. And her grandma had a ton. Well, no, it was her aunt. No, it was her grandma and her great grandma. Never mind. Uh, I called her my aunt, this girl's grandma. Anyway, uh, this grandma had tons of makeup and especially lipsticks. Like she had these plastic containers uh, with like little, you know, lipstick spots. I mean, tons of them. She probably had, I would say, at least 500 tubes of lipstick, at least, if not more than that. I mean, and we would just have a blast playing with her lipstick and we could use whatever we wanted to. Same types of rules. Just don't break anything and put it back when you're done. Um, I can also remember the Avon lady coming to my house when I was young and I love how that looks, but I do want to go back around with this just a little bit. Uh, the Avon lady would come to my house and uh, we would sit at my kitchen table and we would, my mom and I and the Avon lady, and we would look through all of her products and those little white tubes of lipsticks, like the lipstick samplers, she'd give me a ton of those. I love that. <gasps> I thought I was super fancy sitting with my mom and the Avon lady when I was little. Love that. Uh, what else? I think that's probably it. Uh, oh, well, and I also remember like when my mom and I, when I was like in high school and college, getting into Mary Kay, going to Mary Kay parties together. That was really fun. Love that. And, you know, my mom always really liked makeup. She wasn't as into it as I am, not even close, but she loved, she did like makeup and she would always wear pretty much a full face of makeup whenever she would leave the house. Uh, like my mom would never have gone like to the doctor's office or the dental office or, you know, to a gathering of any sort without a full face of makeup on. Not, not a ton. I mean, she didn't wear like full coverage foundation or anything like that, but she, you know, she wanted to wear makeup when she was out and about. I mean, you know, sometimes on the weekend she'd go to the grocery store without her makeup on, but then she'd always be like, do you think I look good? I'm like, mom, you're fine. And I do want to add a little bit of the brown back right there just to take that weird edge off. And there's one more question. Uh, do you still love makeup as much as you used to or more or less? More. I mean, uh, hello way more than I used to. I love makeup so much. It's so fun. So, so fun. And uh, I'm really happy that I got into it. It's been a really fun part of my life and I just enjoy it so much. And I know I've mentioned this a bajillion times, but the, the makeup part of my life has brought so many awesome people into my life. You know, Jan and Shawnee, I don't know that I ever would have, how would I ever have met Jan and Shawnee if I you know, didn't get into makeup and didn't start my YouTube channel. I mean, the YouTube channel is a huge part of it. It's the main part of it. But yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's almost like, th this is how I look at it, okay? And and I, I've said this to people and they like, kind of look at me like I have nine heads. But how I look at it is, I was so devastated after my mom passed away. I was so broken hearted. <sighs> okay, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> and getting into makeup really helped kind of like cushion that void. I mean, it's never going to fill the void ever, but it did really cushion it for me. And so I, I almost feel like my mom knew that. And, and I think she could maybe see my future or something. I don't know. And she knew how much I was going to love it. And so she really like, pushed me into that. I know that sounds really bizarre and I'm sure some of you probably think, no, that's not how the wor world works. And you know, maybe it isn't, but that's just how, what I believe. And there are people that have come into my life, uh, Jan and Shawnee are two of them, that I know my mom would have absolutely loved. And like people will do or say things that I've met through my makeup YouTube stuff that is exactly like my mom. I mean, it just blows my mind. It's like, uh -huh. It's kind of freaky almost sometimes. I'm going to go back around with this brush. So I, I do believe that my mom had a real big part of me getting so into makeup, starting my YouTube channel and meeting all these amazing people. I really do. 
I think she knew I needed it. I think she knew I needed a village to help prop me back up again. <sighs> After she passed away. And uh, I owe my mom big time for that. I really do. I really do. And I know that may sound silly to you guys, but to me, I, I just, I really believe that this whole thing has a lot to do with my mom. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done with this look. I, I will say that I think the shimmers didn't perform as well as they used to. You know, they're just not as like, as they used to. Or maybe it's because I have more experience now with makeup. I don't know. But what I'll do is go do the rest of my stuff and I will come back. This is the finished look and I just absolutely adore that eyeshadow palette. I always will. I, I know that a couple of the shades didn't work as well as they used to, but I don't care. I just love it. It's always such a pleasure to create looks with that palette. And of course, I'll show it to you again, kind of recap it for you. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look. On my lips, I used a MAC bullet lipstick in the shade Move Your Body that came in a BoxyCharm a long time ago. And I just love this lipstick, such a nice lipstick. And because I was talking about the brown lipsticks I used back in the 90s, I just had this nostalgic need to pull this out and use it today. And then for my my lower water lines, I used a cream gel liner from Beauty Creations, and this is in the shade Tiptoe. I just you know, thought this shade would look nice with my eye look today, and these work really well. And then for my upper lid liner, you guys have seen me use this a bunch of times. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim in Brown. Just thought the brown would look good. And then for my mascara, of course, I did use the Nobu Caramedics Nobu Lash yet again. Love it. So now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette, Dream Street, that ColourPop did in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Now I did use this shade right here under my brow, and then I did pop a little bit of that in my inner corners, but it just wasn't as sparkly as I wanted it. So I did pop some of this over the top of that. On my lower lash lines, I use these two mattes. And, you know, like I mentioned, this shimmer and this shimmer on my lids today, they're just not as wowing as they used to be. I mean, you know, they're, they're kind of more subtle in tone, I guess. You know, not, not the most vibrant of colors. I, I just felt like they were more metallic or more dynamic looking in the past than they were in this look today. But still, I, I really like it. And I love the mattes that I used. Love the mattes. You know, they just blend really nicely, apply easily. This is a really nice ColourPop formulated palette, and that's not always the case. Sometimes their formula is a little suspicious, but this one, no, not not at all. And yeah, this is five years old, <laughs> but I just love it. It's, it's what started my whole love of makeup. I don't know why. I will never know why, but just very grateful that my daughter uh, gave this to me five years ago for either my birthday or Christmas. I just love this. I'm going to hold on to this forever. Now, if you have a channel and you want to do this tag, it's called the Makeup Origins tag. I have such a hard time saying that word. Uh, do it, but make sure you tag myself, Jan, and Shawnee so we can come and watch your videos. And if you don't have a channel and you want to answer these questions in the comment section, I would love that. I love to talk about people's history with makeup, their memories of makeup. It's so much fun. And I cannot wait to go to Jan and Shawnee's channels and watch their looks come together, see what palette they pulled out of their collection, and then also, of course, listen to the answers to the questions. That is so much fun. And I have to say this again. I will say this every time I collab with both both of these amazing women. Go to their channels if you haven't yet already and subscribe. They are just amazing, beautiful, talented, creative creators and they are such dear, special friends to me. I love them both so much and I cannot wait until our next collab. And in the meantime, I'm sure we'll be texting each other a ton. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. Love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. I'll see you soon. Bye. Drop it.